This is Evan Abrams, and this is the Dirt Simple Twitching Expression. You've probably guessed already that the most simple version is to pull up the position, which is by hitting P. Alright, now Alt or Option click on the stopwatch to write in an expression. So it starts off as the default transform.position, which really just references this. And what we're going to type in is wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, and then uh, open and close rounded brackets. Now, what that means, thank you error, is uh, we're going to wiggle, and that's the operation, and how we're going to wiggle is inside these brackets. Now, we're going to have to say how many times a second. We're going to say 24 times a second, and then how much. That's 100 units. Just, let's say 100 units for now. Hit the enter button, don't hit the return button. Uh, hitting one of them does this, hitting the other one does this. What's happening is the wiggle is going to change the values of the X and Y position 24 times a second, and this is a 24 frame per second comp, so it's going to be changing every frame from 0 to 100 units, plus or minus. So it's either going to subtract 100 or add 100, that's a big range, right? And it's going to do that every second, which causes it to bounce around all over the place. Which, you're right in that you've selected the wiggle because it's going to randomly twitch around a lot. However, this lacks a lot of fine control, and we can add fine control by, say, adding something like a slider, slitter, slider, add a slider control to the layer, or to wherever, and then take this hundred, select all that, and then pick whip to the slider here, meaning we're going to wiggle 24 times a second this value, which is zero, and then I guess we can keyframe this value, so keyframe it's going to be zero, move ahead, I move ahead using shift page down, move ahead 10 frames, and then we're going to twitch out a hundred, move ahead 10 frames again by shift page down and then uh, set this to zero so you know have a look in here and we've got all these values uh, you can always pull up all of the keyframes and expressions by hitting the U button selecting a layer so that's a cool thing too and you can see that you know it's doing nothing doing nothing doing nothing still nothing and then oh, I'm twitching around like crazy so you can control it a little bit, but you know what? If you want to learn more fine control, you want to get deeper into expressions, this is step one. We're going to move ahead, we're going to do more complex things, so go ahead, click next more advanced thing, and uh, we will add uh, another layer of complexity, but this is the building block, this is step one, and uh, let's move on to do more advanced stuff. Uh, I'm Evan Abrams. Thanks for watching, and uh, please continue to the end of this series so you don't think that I am amateurish and horrible, but, you know, I can't, I can't do the advanced stuff unless I also have the building blocks for everybody. So check that out. Uh, this is a series that is dealing with uh, the Twitch expression. We're going to be separating values. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff, and uh, enjoy. Uh, enjoy the tutorials. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the Internet.